people. <laughs> See what she would have worn until September the fourth, I think it is. If you're with the Queen, a member of the royal family, and you are a garden party or an event, uh, you know that's one thing they're very good at is, is hospitality. But it be tea, coffee, drinks, that's the, the thing. And as we all know, the Queen's favourite tipple is gin and Devonny. And again, if you're on this pod during the Jubilee um, celebrations, this pod's going to be around between the 27th of May and the 4th of September. You can come on here, take in the views, feel part of the Jubilee celebrations and have a gin and Bonny the way the Queen has it, so you get to enjoy her tipple. And I can recommend it because I've actually uh, had a few over the, over the past few years, and it's a really, really nice drink. It's quite strong, but it's very good. It keeps you going. <laughs> There's a myth about the pinky. We never put the, I always say to people, you're not test, testing the wind directions, so keep the, keep the pinkies down. Uh, you hold it by the stem. If it's in a tumbler, obviously you hold the tumbler. If it's in a, 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 if it's in a wine glass, hold it by the stem. Um, you want some nice ice cubes. Um, you want it's good also having quite a strong. It's good having quite a strong uh, drink. Well, it's strong for the gin and Dubonny, Two parts Dubonny, one part gin. So it is quite a strong drink. But um, but as I said, it's, it's it's a nice drink. And you want ice. That's the important. But also plenty of ice. Thank you. Thank you. I think Prince Charles, like uh, you know his mother, who knows he might have a gin and Dubonny as well. I mean, I think that might be the the. The choice to celebration drink, or uh, you know, it's possible. You never know. I mean, they might even have open a bottle of champagne and celebrate that way. But um, I think if I was them and you want, who knows? You never know. I was I was thinking earlier on that you know to come on something like this and to experience this, it'd be quite nice them because they could get away from everything. They could come up here, have a gin and Dubonny or whatever. They've got a couple of other amazing drinks that are actually serving up here. A couple that have been specially created for the jubilee. And they could get away from it all, and you wouldn't even know you're on here. That's the best bit, you could come on here quietly.